So I've been using the iPhone 14 Pro for the last half day. I've been a heavy video user with my iPhones ever since the iPhone 11. When the iPhone 11 came out, I started making movies with my phone, taking it seriously as a videography tool. And when they launched things such as cinematic mode or the macro lens capability and the wide angle last year, I have been taking full advantage of these features. So when Apple was announcing the iPhone 14, I was excited to see what changes would come. But as the event was unfolding, I found myself underwhelmed. Good morning. Here at Apple, we've been hard at work the last year figuring out what we can bring to you, the consumer. Hey, Tim, to be Tim, you're acting a little bit like Zuck right now, okay? We need you to be less robotic, a little bit more enthusiastic. Try smiling, okay? Take it again. Good morning. Here at Apple, we've been hard at work the past year, working hard on the iPhone 14. We've been adding as much innovation as we can possibly pack into the 14. And this year, the 14 is radically different from the 13. Over the past months, our engineers, our software team, and our hardware team have been working diligently to tighten their jeans, to zip up the portfolio, to integrate, to innovate, and to inspire. The new action camera, the 48 megapixels, the larger sensors. We can't wait to see what these new innovations will do when it's in the hands of our beloved customers. Now that I've had the phone for half a day, here are my thoughts. First off, unless you use your iPhone for heavy video or photography use, and even then, don't upgrade. Wait for the 15. There's just not enough changes between the 13 and the 14, or even the 12 and the 14, or maybe even the 11 and the 14, depending what you're doing. So my advice is to wait. However, I did find that I was very impressed with the new action mode on the 14. The action mode feature is something that I will be using this next year. It makes it look like I'm using a gimbal. A gimbal is $115 easily, so I'm happy that that value is now built in on my iPhone. Granted, action mode is limited to 2K resolution, but that's enough for what I do. Other than action mode, the only other thing I'm excited about marginally is that cinematic mode is now available in 4K, not just 1080p. So that will help me when I do some crops and I want to zoom in on someone's faces other than the new action mode and the 4K resolution and cinematic mode, I cannot tell the difference between anything else. If we take a look at the ultra wide angle, I can't tell the difference between the two videos. If we take a look at the zoom lens, I can't tell the difference. And if we take a look at the main wide angle lens, the regular lens, I can't tell the difference. So my review for the 14, if you're going to use action mode, it's probably worth it. It limits the amount of equipment that you have to have. You don't have to have a gimbal. Other than that, I'm pretty disappointed. I wish cinematic mode would have had changes such as, I don't know, better job focusing on subjects. That would have been a change worth talking about, but I guess we'll have to wait for the 15 for any other changes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. <laughs>